You know, right now, so many of us are working remotely uh, from home because of coronavirus. And because of this, we may be starting to lose connection with our coworkers. The, the conversations may just stick to strictly business. So how can we maintain that corporate culture, that social environment that's so important when we're not together? Garrett Mintz uh, is joining us this morning to talk more about that. Thanks for, so much for being here. Yeah, of course, Dustin. Thank you so much for having me. What I can say is this, is when it comes to keeping your company culture, staying connected to your colleagues, what's really important is that you carve time to have intentional conversations about what obstacles they are facing. Because with everybody working from home, you may not realize the type of obstacles that your colleagues may be facing. Maybe they've got kids. Maybe they've got a dog. Maybe they've got other things that they manage that they have to deal with. And by you understanding the obstacles they're facing, you can then begin to empathize with what they're going through. And that's so critical because one of the things that we've observed with Ambition in Motion is working with companies to connect employees together is that 68% of engaged employees have communication barriers between other employees, which just means that they have no idea what Jane in accounting does. Jane in accounting has no idea what John in sales does. They have no idea what their other side does in terms of the work. And so by getting to understand the obstacles that another person faces, we can then have a better gauge on what they're going through. So it really does come down to communication. How do you do that tangibly, you know, when you're, when you're talking via Zoom like we are right now? Yeah, I'm a big fan of horizontal mentorship. Horizontal mentorship, and by the way, we've heard this term mentor before. Oh, you know, you should mentor somebody or you should mentor someone, so they should mentor you. I'm here to challenge the notion of the traditional vertical mentoring where there's a protege and then there's a mentor because I believe that the best mentoring relationships, in fact, the research indicates the best mentoring relationships are ones where two people are giving to each other. So I brand it as horizontal mentoring. That means two people open to the idea of learning from each other who are constantly curious. And when you come into a mentoring relationship like that, you're much more likely to get more out of that experience. And so carving that one-on-one -on -one time once a month with another coworker, especially if they're outside of your department to get a better understanding of what they do on a regular basis and the obstacles that they're facing, you're going to have a much more enjoyable work atmosphere because you're gonna feel like, okay, I know why they didn't get that report to me on time. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. As opposed to me being, being passive aggressive or sending in a really aggressive email saying, hey, why didn't you get this thing to me? I can now say, you know what? I totally understand. Take your time. If we could work on getting it by this date, that would be amazing. All right. Garrett Mintz, uh, founder of Ambition in Motion. Thanks so much. And we've got more information online at WTHR.com.